So, now that we're being completely open and honest with each other, you don't have any experience with actual wizards, do you? No, I don't. And I guess Marcus doesn't count as an actual wizard, does he? No, no, not at all, not at all. Now, I'm something of a special case amongst wizards, if I may pat myself on the back. But at the same time, um, we do have some restrictions. Certain number of spell uses. Don't worry, I'll support you as best you can. Just do whatever you do, throat stabbing, arm wrangling, punch facing. Uh, don't worry about it, I will. So I've got your back. Uh, okay, good, good. Inian quietly hums to herself as you enter a long room. Cultists stand, facing summoning circles, chanting to themselves. Uh, Inian points. Well, let's get to it, how about? Rampage straight about in that direction. Fine. I'll make you regret calling me disappointing. Good! It's been too easy so far! Inian chants something under her breath. Ash suddenly feels something bind itself to her skin. Go on, go on. That's one spell, by the way. I'm down to eight. Okay, fine! I sprint up the stairs, withdrawing my dagger from my belt. As I hit the peak, I chuck it straight at the man's face, sprint <laughs> past him. The dagger hits the neck. And plunge my sword into this man's throat. <laughs> the man stumbles over backwards, clutching at his neck. The, the cultist that Ash attacked turns, eyes wild, shocked. The sword connects with his shoulder blade. The summoning circle flickers, dissipating. The creature inside is released. The hellhound takes a few steps forward. Indian runs up the stairs. The hellhound bears down on Ash. <laughs> Whirling around, wild-eyed, the arm of moss and stone materializes and grips the hellhound. Oh, it'll just ooze right out of your grip. I am not going to deal with it. You are! <laughs> I toss it at Indian. <laughs> Indian throws a spell at it, connecting with its body in midair. A shower of sparks and sparkles fill the room, uh, sending a goopy body everywhere. I learned that one from Marcus. Ugh. By the way, I'm down to seven spells. Seven. Got it. Seven. I, weaving around this man, I latch my arm around his neck, and with a quick yank, you hear a pop. Sprinting forward, I, catch, I attempt to uh, sweep this man's legs and plunge my sword into him as he falls. Uh, he extends his hand and fires a uh, blast of magic directly at you. I attempt to duck under it. The magic missile connects directly with your body, pinging off. That's pretty handy, Inian. Thank you, I'm glad you noticed. How long does it last? <laughs> oh, not very long. Uh, fine. <laughs> you manage to sweep the cultist's legs. It, as the man falls, I drag my sword across his stomach and attempt to leap over him. Uh, the man far away from you extends both of his hands. You suddenly feel something grip your wrists yeah. and your ankles. You're held still. Indian, got something for this? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe, sort of. Not really. Sort of a makeshift solution. She snaps her fingers. The sigil appears on your chest. And what's it do? Oh, it does nice things. Just be happy you received a gift. I attempt to yank on the bindings. Uh, you're held. The cultist immediately before you comes at you with the dagger. It stabs into you. Okay, that's a spell contingency. Um, <laughs> the sigil on your chest immediately lights up. You vanish, reappearing, immediately behind the man. I drive my blade through the- through his back, just beneath his ribs. Oh, very nasty. Very efficient. <laughs> Indian, dog duty! Get on it! Indian stares at the dog. It continues to move closer to her. They reform, right? Oh, yes. Fine. I attempt to scatter the creature by swiping the hand of moss and stone through it. It does slime across the ground into a black puddle of goop. Oh, God. I grab this man's body and attempt to toss it into the point that the, uh, that the creature is reforming. You swing the man's corpse around into the creature. It begins to reform around him improperly. God. Chimeras. See, who needs magic when you're that creative, Ash? Bravo. Yeah, thanks! Oh, by the way, the hellhound bearing down on any and detonates. Magic makes it a whole lot easier, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I gathered. Four spells, by the way. Four. Four. Okay, good. I, gl I do a quick survey of the room. How many people are still conscious and threatening? Uh, this man. He lobs a fireball directly at you. Yeah! <laughs> the fire ignites, burning away at Ash. Yeah, I had nothing for that one. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, stumbling forward... I attempt to simply grip the man. <laughs> you grasp him with the hand of moss and stone. Uh, you begin to feel his body give way, bones breaking, flesh tearing. Uh, Ash, that's nice and all, but, um, how about we move on? Fine. I drop the crumpled heap to, a th uh, to the floor. <laughs> so, I think that went well. I think that went very well. Right, I did too. Good job, Ash. 
And when you want to, you can be absolutely destructive. I know, and I don't usually want to. But when oh, I do, remember that I can. And okay, then... Okay, blah, blah, threats, threats, threats. Yeah, Good job, not... just be proud of yourself. Indian, I swear you can be the most aggravating person. She claps you on the back. Now, I know your temptation is to be to clap me on the back with that giant hand of yours. Please don't. Oh, I was so tempted, too. Don't. Four spells, by the way. Four. 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 Great. All right, I'll remember that. And remember, not a word... To Marcus Stock, any of any of them. Not a word to anybody. This stays between us. Okay, fine. My lips are sealed. Good. Colvin, Marcus, and Gregor uh, wander onto another suspended steel balcony way. Marcus tests the uh, floor underneath with one foot. Yeah, that's some good platforming. Yes, the master came through this way at some time ago. I'm not particularly loud in this area. He calls it space camp. Space. Camp? Yeah. Is it because there's a lot of empty space in here? No, it's where we bring all the new recruits who want to experience the joys of space exploration through magic. It's space I camp. I look down at the people beneath us. What are they up to? <laughs> They're all locked in cages, looking very depressed. He says it's a wonderful opportunity for them. Marcus puts a hand on <laughs> Colvin's shoulder, looking into his eyes at the fragile innocence that lies therein. <laughs> Someday I want to go to space camp too. I'm sure that I'm sure that you'll get the opportunity, Colvin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Marcus sniffs the air. What is that? That smell. It's familiar. <laughs> he looks down into this cell. Oh yes, one of our newest recruits. Is that is that Marcus Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> you had a son. He's so big. <laughs> Marcus, you've used that name on so many creatures, I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. Okay, but I but I only really meant it on the ape. You remember the ape, Gregor? I remember the ape. But is this the ape? I mean... <laughs> or just an ape? <laughs> I think it's pretty discriminatory to call some someone an ape. I mean, he's big, but... <laughs> Colvin, go practice your punches on that wall over there. <laughs> Colvin, Colvin begins practicing his punches on that wall over there. <laughs> hey! Hey, buddy! The ape looks up. Hey, is he- is it- I make some wild hand gestures. Uh, the ape immediately nods respectfully to you. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus nods respectfully back, snaps his fingers, and attempts to make a ladder out of shadows leading down to the ape. You create a ladder of shadows for the ape. The ape stares at the ladder of shadows and jumps onto the platform next to you. <laughs> Could have gotten out of space camp whenever you wanted? <laughs> the ape nods. <laughs> Whew. The people here are clearly being kept against their will. <laughs> My god, they're being kept against their will. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's simple. Marcus turns around. Space camp must be somewhere else. This is clearly not space camp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it Cage Town. Let's call it Cage Town. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. We're going to take down Cage Town. No, Marcus, <laughs> too late, okay. <laughs> the cultists stare up at you. Oh, those ones aren't in cages. Uh, hey, go do wizard drugs, kids. I've got some if you want them. Gregor winks at Marcus. <laughs> they begin to charge magic down on the floor, aiming at you. Uh, Marcus starts chucking himself the platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one in the cage. <laughs> oh, no. It hits the bars of the cage and slides down. <laughs> it pulls out a tiny harmonica and begins to play. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus continues throwing imps out. <laughs> okay, that's about all I can manage right now. <laughs> a torrent of magic hits the platform immediately above your heads. The, the ape grabs Marcus and dives to the side. <laughs> what are you- God! <laughs> My god, was Space Camp a lie? No, Colvin, you must believe in the Space Camp that lies in your heart. Marcus throws down a selection of small knives for his imps. <laughs> the imps are very rapidly put down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you should have taught them which way to hold like the knives. Them? Marcus puts all of his concentration into his eyes. They point in opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> and after saying, I've been working on this technique for some time, he lets loose an eye beam, one of them slicing across the platform here. The large chunk of metal impacts the ground, rocking the room. A cloud of dust suddenly fills your eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> quick, quick, Marcus Jr., get the cages open. The imp jumps, landing in a cage. 
Well, now we're just back where we started. <laughs> it fiddles with the lock, unable to figure it out. It grabs both of the people and lobs them up and over. <laughs> Good job! They hit the wall with a horrifying crunch. Hello, friends, you've been inducted into the militia. This man is dead. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh. Marcus, you need to have a talk with your ape. Which one? Once again, the ape leaps! Oh, oh god, I gotta catch these next ones. Marcus makes a large hand out of shadow. Okay, right to me, buddy. And suddenly, lobs nope. both of what? them! <laughs> Gregor leaps and tries to intercept the second man. The first man dramatically slides along the wall. Whoop! Marcus dives through the catch. That's gonna be a big scab. The man skids to a gruesome stop on top of Marcus. Oh. Gregor does manage to successfully save this guy. Good job, Marcus Jr. I think that's was all it? of the prison. Yes, it was. He did his monkey best. <laughs> He leaps back up onto the platform. Spells, right. continu spells continue to hit above you. Colvin, I think that's all of the prisoners out of spa- not, not space camp. Where's- I'm sorry. Right now I'm just writing in my space camp journal about, you know, what a disappointment space camp turned out to be. That can wait until we find the real space camp. Uh, Horatio, I was going to be a junior cadet. I- 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 I don't know what to say to that, Colvin. <laughs> the ape gives Marcus another nod. You intuitively understand through uh, animal intuition. He's gonna take these people safe, back to their families. <laughs> They're all dead behind him. <laughs> Except for the guy that Gregor saved. <laughs> oh, I thought only one of them was dead. That's rough. You go and take that survivor back to his family. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus Jr. Survivor, not survivor, the ape picks them all up <laughs> under his arms. All right, Colvin, where to? I miss when Ash was the one throwing people around. Yeah, she's better at it. Ash and Indian progress up a narrow stairway. Can you stand a little further away from me? You freak like blood and death. Yeah, well, you smell like burnt plastic. It's plastic. Oh, it's a thing here, made. <laughs> 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 you feeling okay, Ash? It's a very distinct, offensive odor. And you <laughs> smell like it. Oh, that's nice. Rick, uh, by the way, what's going on down there? Yeah. Uh, you stare straight ahead. Thog is surrounded on all sides by cultists, not wearing a shirt. Thog? Where's his shirt? <laughs> he, he decks one in the face. Wow, why is he not wearing a shirt? I don't know. Does he always take that off in battle? Come to think of it, every time I've seen him fight, yeah. He's not been- Olorani customs are adorable. Uh, Alright, well anyway, THOG! I sprint up and attempt to spear this man in the neck. <laughs> with my sword. Whoa, I, whoa! I had this! I, I Sure you do! I'm just lending help, I believe you! Not so, like, not sarcastically. Thug whirls around decking another cultist. I use this man's body as a shield and move uh, closer to this guy. <laughs> he continues firing magic missiles at his companion. <laughs> Taking a step back, raising one leg, I kick the man's back and force the body into, uh, into the man firing at me. Uh, he connects with the man, temporarily interrupting his spellcasting. I weave around the body and attempt to plunge my blade into the side of his stomach. You stab the man in the side. Indian mumbles another incantation, and the cultist uh, begins to screech, robed disappearing inwards. Uh, what? What are you doing to him? Oh, it's a weakness of all you humans. You tend to wear clothes. I'm just putting the clothes inside his body. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, come on. That's <laughs> horrifying, Indian. It has an easy countermeasure. At least I just put these guys down. They don't really feel oh. much. They just go oh, down. Oh, yes. You're so merciful. Indian snaps her fingers again. This man's head caves in. Look at me. I I'm Ash, the throat stabber. I'll put him down nice and easy, choking on their own blood. <laughs> I. You know what, Indian? Fine. Fine. Death is horrifying. I agree, but at least I don't put people's clothes inside their bodies. K kill me. <laughs> See, he wants to die too. Well, Indian because loves you distracted me, I didn't finish the job. <laughs> Indian fires a line of electricity straight through these two fellows. I let go of my sword immediately. <laughs> oh, come on. It's prob that probably would have killed you. Good call. Yeah, yeah, I know, Marcus. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 okay, well, yeah, um, good. I, uh, I, um, 
knock this guy out. He's uh he's down on the ground. Glad to see you too. What the hell happened? I don't know. We got teleported to some room or something, and then put in chains, and then we broke out, and here we are. That was that was pretty quick. Like, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you got here pretty quick too. Where where were you? Where is this? Well, take that staircase back up. We wind up roughly in the same place you got trapped. I had to fight like a lot of guys to get here. Okay, uh, are, are you? Are you all right? I kind of uh, step closer to the thug and assess him. I mean, all right enough. Magic wounds are magic wounds. You're not a popsicle and you're not a, uh, not overcooked. What? Uh, <laughs> thug stares at you. Uh, I don't know. I was, I was just trying to be, I guess, clever. Because, you know, sometimes they shoot ice and You should fire. have seen it back there. Ash was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I was absolutely amazing. I killed so many people. I can't even believe how many bodies there were. It was disgusting. Yeah, Inian's a real death machine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why you're trying to hide it. I've seen Ash tear through like 10 people in what, 10 seconds, Ash? Was that the record back in uh, Meadshire? I, I'm hesitant to call it a record. I'm I don't know why you're trying to be so modest about this. It's very clear if somebody's disposing of bodies. It's you, Ash. You got a talent. Great. Great. No, oh, really, why are you making that face? You have a talent. I, I, I just never expected- I wish I had that talent. I much- I would have much preferred it if my talent was not murder. Oh, come on. It's a perfectly great talent. <laughs> yeah, it is. Isn't it, Indian? Some people are just good at pottery. And think about how boring pottery is. I kind of like pottery. It's pretty cool. Little Miss Ash the Potter, sure, go ahead. You are covered in enough blood to fill a tub. I know, it's disgusting. Okay, one final spell. Uh, Indian snaps her fingers. There, all the blood's come. Oh, sweet, where'd it go? Well? You know, maybe, maybe it's better if you don't answer that. Yes, in fact, it, in fact it would be. You'll find that this spell is very useful for someone in my profession, and yours, I guess. Wonder if it's, think I could learn that spell, or... Is it like a wizard's only thing? I could try teaching you. You're um a special, special, special <laughs> snowflake. <clears throat> and he stops herself seeing Ash's glare. Yep, yep. So um, uh, we could try to work something out. But for now, I'm all tapped out. All so uh, uh, all right. Well, I guess. Wait, you're out of spells, or okay? Oh, completely. I mean, it was still pretty, pretty cool. Some really handy spells in there. Oh yeah, that was absolutely awesome. Let's do it again sometime. And he wanders over, stretching. Right, what are you doing? As I said earlier, I'm a very special type of wizard. Most wizards need to spend many, many hours returning all their spell uses. Uh, Me? I just need to go to sleep for a few minutes. Uh, okay, I look around the room. Are you sure this is, like, the best place to go to sleep? I mean... Oh, I've assessed all the entrances and thought came from that direction. It's fine. I... Uh, okay. Go on without me, I'll catch up. Okay. Uh, okay. I kind of drag the carpet and put it on top of her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll keep people from noticing her. The longer I take, the better magic I get, so... Okay, well... Please don't disturb me. I won't. <clears throat> Just don't get stabbed while you're sleeping, because that would be really disappointing. Huh. I wonder why she's so confident that she'll just be fine. I mean, first of all, we're here, and as far as she knows, we're scum. I mean, we are scum, Thog. Let's not beat around the bush. I mean... I was gonna say I'm scummier than you, but that's a lot of bodies over there, Ash. I know, I know. Let's just drop it and move on. Let's find <laughs> Gregor and Marcus and Colvin, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Does he still have the eye? I, I, I'm a bit lost. Let's find Gregor and Marcus. Okay. <laughs>